three, three slices of pizza for Jerry Fleming. Three. Why you got a bag? Out Three. Like I'm that? just saying, you, you know, the guy the still still cut oatmeal, shredded wheat without any sugar on it. Listen, you can you can eat three slices of pizza if your other meals are steel cut oatmeal. Yeah, and you work out three day, three times a day. Exactly. Yeah. You on the other hand, you shouldn't be eating three slices of pizza. I'm just happy I can wear jeans. Today Would you and have do a bacon? You have a bacon That's cheeseburger good. for breakfast? No. What the, I didn't even have. I haven't even eaten yet today. So don't throw that one on me. On the road though, it's healthy. <laughs> The, the AHL per diem is treating me just fine. <laughs> it's treating me just fine. That's been the best thing about the AHL. I, I won't lie. Jordan Osterley joins us, Condor's defenseman. Uh, first season in Bakersfield, second season uh, in the Oilers organization. And, oh, you see, I was going back looking at some notes. We're, we're coming up on a milestone here. You played in the NHL uh, just about a year ago, February 21st last year. Uh, you know, just you know, being able to make your, your NHL debut uh, as a rookie, it's, it's kind of rare, but – uh, you know, what were your experiences like uh, taking on Anaheim uh, last year? Yeah, no, it was definitely exciting. Uh, I didn't really see the call coming when I got called up, but uh, no, it was definitely exciting. And to get that in my first year was huge. It, it made me go into the summer just having that much more confidence in coming into this season. Obviously, your goal is to get back. Everyone wants to get up there. That's that's the ultimate goal. How, how do you feel your game has changed here over the last year? Yeah, obviously, we come into this league wanting to play in the National Hockey League, and uh, – I thought it, I've grown a lot this year. I've, I've become way, mo- way more defensive than I was last year, and, and my offensive game has picked up tr- tremendously so far. 20 points uh, this season uh, for Osterley, coming up uh, on uh, approaching uh, the 25 you set last year, of course, in just about double the game. So you mentioned the, the point totals going up, but uh, how much of the last couple of weeks has been good for this Connors team? Five wins in a row and, and spirits high for, for Bakersfield. Yeah, every time you can win games, uh, everyone's – uh, everyone's emotions are always high. Uh, everyone's clicking. Everyone's getting points. Everyone's winning. Uh, it just makes it a lot more fun. You know, uh, Jerry talked about um, you know rotating uh, D partners and everything. Uh, you know, y- your thoughts on on your your fellow defenseman back there fitting in. You got anyone in particular you like playing with more than more than others? <laughs> it's kind of tough to pick uh, between six other guys, which one I like playing with the most. But uh, hurt somebody's feelings. I'll hurt hurt so- someone's feelings. <laughs> but uh, I, I mean, I, I guess I'll have to go with who I played with the most this year. I played with uh, Griffin Reinhardt probably the most so far this season. So it's been fun. It, it really does there. matter, though, doesn't it? I mean, you get out there, you're on the same page, you, you're back to the bench, you're sitting next to each other on the bench, you're kind of – you kind of start to share one brain out there, don't you, a little bit? Yeah, it's kind of different. When you play with a different defenseman, you have to kind of not play a different style, but where if, when I play with Griffin, I can jump in the rush a little bit more. But say when I play with Joey Lalegio, I have to sit back a little bit more. Oh, let, Joey's let, let him five, do his thing. Five Joey's, forwards Joey's on Joey's the ice. Osterley and Lalegio appear together. We got five forwards going on. <laughs> uh, you know, you look at this, this Connors team, and Jerry talked about it, but, you know, just you speaking about, not wanting to pick one guy that you've played with here over the, the course of a season as as your go-to guy, at least on the blue line. How tight is this Condors team? Because, you know, as Jerry mentioned, everyone kind of, you know, it doesn't matter who it is. You know, the, the captain, you know, Ryan Hamilton might be out with the rookie one night or, you know, it's it's you and Lelegi, it's you and somebody else. I mean, it doesn't seem like there's any sort of clicks which you get on some other teams, at, at least in past years. Yeah, no, uh, everyone everyone's good buddies coming up from – Coming from uh, Ham- Hamilton down to the rookies, uh, everyone's everyone gets along with everyone. Everyone can play with everyone, and it just speaks volumes to the type of players that the Edmonton Oilers gets in their organization. Is that a process too? Because you know you you see it early on. I think in rookie camps and development camps, there's a lot of emphasis placed on guys getting to know one another, even if you're not on the same team when you start. Because at some point, you guys are going to cross paths here. Yeah, yeah, no, it definitely starts with the development camps in the summers, but it also transitions over to the beginning of the seasons here. We, uh, we have good coaching staffs with Jerry and, and JF and, and Tony. They really do a good a good job at the beginning of the season of getting us all together and getting us acclimated with each other and just becoming friends. You know, Jerry talked about your skating style. Um, you know, there's, there's a pretty good youth hockey community here in town. The kids might be watching. They're watching you guys all the time. What kind of tips can you give? young players, uh, you know, to work on your skating, to be a better skater, to, to be more smooth? Because, I mean, everything in this game changes if, if, if you're a great skater. Yeah, no, definitely. Uh, when I was younger, my skating instructor taught me that, that you need to learn how to skate first. You don't need to be the best puck handler. That all comes with you being able to skate. If you can skate faster than, 
than other players, then it doesn't really matter how, say, good your hands are or how good your shots are. You'll get a lot of opportunities. But um, I think the main thing is just focus on it. Like when, when you're a little kid, the, la the last thing you want to do is go around and do laps right. or <laughs> focus right. on your stride. Or, but right. I mean, just take that extra, say, 10 minutes when you're a little kid before or after practice and just do little stride stuff to like critique it. Now, you know, we talked about the, the defensive pairings for this Condors team. Someone actually tweeted it out the other day, you know, what, no right, right-handed right shot defenseman for this Condors team? Well, actually, yeah, there is no right-handed shot defenseman. That means some guys have to play their offside. How difficult has that been uh, when you do have to go on your offside in terms of being a lefty, playing on the right side, or, or vice versa if you're a righty and a lefty? Yeah, um, I mean, I know some guys really prefer the left side over the right, but uh, I played the right side for the last three years, so... I, I don't really know what it's like being on the <laughs> being on the left side. <laughs> it's just, uh, it, do you have to do things differently when you're on the other side, or, or is it a matter of just getting comfortable? Yeah, I think it's just a comfort level. Uh, I mean, on your right side, I feel like you have to do a little bit more plays on your back end, just little bumps. But I mean, other than that, it's just getting used to it. How much communication uh, do the goaltenders give you? Talk about your goalies. I mean, how much talking are they? You're going back. You're In back English. to the play. <laughs> right, you're, trying, you're going back to pick thing. up the puck. Are they always talking? Yeah, no, they always talk. They're letting you know, even if it's even if it's a simple set break out there, just letting you know if there's anyone coming, like if you have support. They're they're always in your ear, letting you know you have options and, and what's in front of you. What do they, what do they got? What do you, give give us something. <laughs> they got a secret language. I mean, you got a, like a code to come in. Yeah, have you free, heard E2 talk? He has side. a secret what, language. What do they say? <laughs> E2 E2, you have to listen a little bit more. But uh, <laughs> but no no, they're good. Just just like one on, just things like that. They're 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 good at communicating with us, D men. Uh, off the ice, obviously, first season here in Bakersfield, able to enjoy the sun uh, i mean california just uh you know yourself you know when you get a chance to and i always ask this but when you get a chance to to get away from from the grind the condors with a couple of days off here after the big wins uh, this past week what do you enjoy doing other than uh, doing uh, video interviews all the time? <laughs> yeah well well after these um <laughs> i like to uh, just hang out at my apartment maybe get outside go to the pool but uh i know a bunch of guys are into golfing i kind of like yeah. to save that for the off season <laughs> but uh i mean I mean, since it's getting nice out right now, we'll probably have barbecues, things like that. So just getting away from, away from the rink, out of your apartments, just with the guys is always fun. I mean, it's seventy. It's gonna be like seventy-five today. They'll be the only ones at the pool. That's pool weather, right? They'll be the no, only ones. This at is the like the summer weather. Get in here now. <laughs> California takes. You have to get it to at least ninety-five Listen, before anyone's I, thinking about touching. I, a pool. I don't even look at the pool unless it's ninety-five degrees. <laughs> forget it, man. Forget it. Um, Condor's home for five games this week. Just. Talk about being home uh, for this Condors team because the Condors have been on the road for the last week. It's been a grind of a little bit of a schedule. We haven't had much grinding uh, here over the last uh, couple of months with this Condors schedule, but uh, you get home for five games now, and this team has really clicked on home ice here in Condors Town. Yeah, no, it's fun. It's easy. It's definitely easy to play in front of these fans. They're very emotional, and they get into the games. But uh, definitely sleeping in your own bed, being familiar with everything, it's, just, it's always nice being at home, really. You hear from some guys, and, and they talk about routine, you know, and Bartle mentioned, you know, a lot of Utahki players here in Bakersfield. The program's so huge now with, with former Condors that have stayed in town to, to coach teams. What is, what is your pregame routine like from, from the, the morning you the, – the, the, excuse me, the minute you wake up in the morning and, and then rolling on through the day? Is there a lot of set routine that you go through during a day, or is, you know, are you the type of guy that, that's kind of – you know, freewheeling, if you will, and, and hey, I'm showing up. I'm getting ready for the game. Yeah, pretty much. I <laughs> I don't really have anything too 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 specific besides for maybe listening to my iPod like okay. hour before the game or something like that. But I mean, if I want to eat pasta, if I want to eat something else, I'll just, <laughs> I just I go with whatever I'm in the mood. Cut oatmeal. Except for except for maybe pizza and stuff like that. But right. uh, but no, I feel that if I maybe got too serious like that, I wouldn't be good or just wouldn't take it as. What's, like, what's on the iPod? Yeah, what's on the iPod? <laughs> yeah. uh, I got a lot. I have Spotify, so I can get whatever I want. But uh, What do you choose? What, what's the game? What's the pregame music? Uh, I will say one of the last songs I listened to is a song by Lil Wayne. Oh, okay, a little so, rap. He, well, doesn't, he has no idea. <laughs> oh, I know Not a clue. A Not a, his face went... Uh, <laughs> I couldn't. I couldn't tell you. Listen, if the guy walked in the door, I wouldn't have a first clue who he was. But I heard of him. <laughs> oh, that's great. That's great. You just sounded just like now. the oldest white guy I've ever met in my life. Uh, you know, you mentioned your pregame routine. Uh, 
you know, it doesn't matter what's what you're, what you're going to eat. Brad Hunt eats Subway sandwiches <laughs> every day, I think. But yeah, probably. Uh, what, what's the favorite? What's the favorite food? If you, you go back home, you get the home cooked meal. What's the what's the go to Jordan Osterley food or the meal on a game day or just uh, regular? on any day? Uh, any day, out. any day. I, I normally like a steak, a steak and potatoes, some vegetables, or say hamburger. Just some sort of easy easy yeah. thing to make. Yeah. <laughs> You talked about getting away from getting away from the rink during the season. What what's the the summer like for yourself? Is there a lot of focus on off season training early on, or is it you know kind of you compartmentalize things and and hey, I'm putting that to the back burner for a little bit. I'm going to enjoy a couple of months and then get back into it. Yeah, I know the summers are definitely relaxing. I feel like the the, the 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 season's way too long of a grind to get right back on the horse when you get home. But uh, no, I go home usually take I don't know maybe a month off. And then just get back into the gym. I'll, I'll take more time off skating, but I'll usually get right back into the gym three Perfect. or four weeks after. Great. Well, playoff push is on. We appreciate the time. Yeah, no problem. Thanks, Thanks for having coming. me. Great, great road trip. Yeah. yeah. Looking forward to this weekend. Yeah. Big five game homestand starts Friday and Saturday. Condors take on San Diego Friday, Texas on Saturday. Tickets, makersillcondors.com. Cereal Bowls, MLB caps. Do you have a favorite MLB team? Tigers. You gotta be, the, you gotta be a Tigers fan. Tigers we'll let you take the one way. though. The blue one kind of looks like the Tiger blue. It's not, but uh, we'll let you take it. Uh, when we come back, Ryan Jones will join us uh, from our good friends over at ABM. We get some talking to do because he was great in fantasy football, and uh, we've got a giveaway coming up in April that uh, ABM's front and center on. So we got to talk about that. We'll also make our picks, of course, and look at Bartle's schedule. So, uh, yeah, how's the stand? Yeah. Yeah, not good. Jones, you have a lot of work to do. We'll come back. Condors at least. Bakersfield.com, I-45.